well something quite unbelievable is happening at the candidates while everyone is struggling to win even one game Jan Nepomniachtchi has won his third game at the event this time he beat Ding Liren with the white pieces and this is the game that we are going to show you he is now on 4 and 1/2 out of 6 leading the tournament with close to 1 and 1/2 or 2 points because the other games are going on so we do not know but it has been a thoroughly dominating position uh, chess by nepo until now at the event every time i start from the opening moves i'm going to do that but before that i want to you to think on this position it's black to move that's uh, nepo mnyashi is white dingleren is black so black to move how can black save this position okay so think for some time and then we will come back to this as the game goes on okay so the game began with 1 e4 and ding as always replied with e5 and roy lopez and once again everyone is kind of testing uh, ding in either this d3 or uh, in the sort of anti martial so this time it was d3 d5 bishop b3 uh, d6 a3 oops sorry a3 castles and now knight to c3 <clears throat> everything is very standard knight a5 bishop a2 you play bishop e6 okay c5 is also possible bishop e6 b4 takes takes knight c6 bg5 queen d7 so the bishop uh, wants to take the knight so that you can have control of the d5 square and it does so knight d5 and now interesting move is a5 everyone used to play bd8 here but then white would play a4 and start creating some play on the queen side so black players thought well why can't we start it because we are anyway not afraid of this structure uh, overall i can just park my king on h8 rook g8 and sort of save everything uh, if you try to take advantage of it with nh4 it doesn't really work because ab knight f5 king h8 and black is safe here so rook b2 was played by nepo here after a5 look slightly passive but now you know you can take here and aim for playing knight h4 so ab ab and now bishop to d8 back c4 knight d4 uh, all of this is uh, well played by ding knight d4 ed queen c2 and here i guess it was important to just push the knight back with c6 knight f4 and rook b8 i think black is doing fine here uh, and should have no real problems but the move rook e8 was slightly uh, not so great then after g3 again c6 would have been the best but b into c4 i think uh, is a mistake because now you take with the queen and if you can get in b5 then you have a nice clamp on the position so c6 knight f4 bg5 knight e2 and this pawn is weak basically so black says okay i'm going to let you take it but of course this cannot be taken because of bishop f6 and black wins but just come back and now the thing is that <coughs> these are doubled and this is a passed pawn all ready to roll down the board so this gives white a good advantage and the question here is how should black play and uh, it's very funny because <clears throat> uh, in the fourth round it was karuana who kind of played h4 h5 h6 against nepo then yesterday against um, wang hao nepo played h4 h5 h6 and <laughs> today against ding liren it is ding who plays h5 h4 h3 so i guess uh, it's a recurring theme with nepo that the h pawn keeps moving forward but okay here h4 doesn't make any sense because you just take and then queen comes in and there is a lot of play here uh, you can take and then 
move the queen and h4 comes so that's why b5 was played which is a fine move h4 b6 and h3 so black says look i'm not going to be able to deal with your pawn here because it's a very strong pawn <clears throat> so meanwhile i'm going to create some threats on the king side and that's my source of counterplay so nepo says okay i'm going to put my king on h1 and then whenever i want to i will put my knight back on g1 so what will happen is that the knight will protect f3 pawn will protect e4 so you will never be able to come on that diagonal okay fair enough and i'll never pick up this pawn at least for the time being so ding says yeah well looks like a powerful plan i must deal with the b6 pawn and now rook f b1 bishop d8 here i felt like b7 was very good because after rook a7 you can go knight g1 and black can never really take this pawn because i'll just take and get the two rooks and then uh, my king is safe and the two rooks will kind of uh, create a lot of problems for black so in that respect b7 was strong but uh, nepo played queen b5 again pretty good move and here uh, ding liren should have gone queen f5 even still the position is quite difficult because queen f5 i play knight d4 queen g4 uh, if you play queen f6 b7 rook a7 take bishop b6 knight f3 and knight g1 usually if the knight comes back to g1 everything should be good and if you play queen g4 i play b7 rook a7 queen e8 and queen f7 and this is not a very easy line but after rook e2 there is a mate here so white wins but all of this didn't happen because ding liren instead of playing his queen to f5 went queen to g4 and this was a mistake because first of all he, uh, black could just play queen e8 uh, sorry white could just play queen e8 and take the pawn on f7 and this is just lost because after rook b6 rook b6 bishop b6 you know what's the best move here white to play and win knight to g1 okay f3 is also winning but i like this move knight uh, g1 saving everything and uh, white is better queen d5 was not the best move but okay it was playable but now you have some threats uh, in this position because queen f3 is a uh, mate if the if this queen is removed from that diagonal and so black played rook a5 good move now queen went to c6 but i want you to think here what's the best move for white yeah queen c6 is possible and this is what nepo played but that will bring us to our test position which i gave at the start f3 would have been very strong uh, mainly because the rook is hanging and if the queen moves to somewhere where it doesn't stay in touch with this pawn then i can just simply pick up the rook so in a way you have to exchange the queens now like for example rook d5 fg4 and uh, this is just winning i can go knight f4 and pick up this pawn and uh, a sample variation could be something like this where white is a pawn up and has a better minor piece with a winning position okay anyway queen c6 was played and we wouldn't have been able to see this very interesting position so black to play did you find the move okay congratulations to everyone who found the move rook into b6 you are extremely strong uh, if you found that why do i say so because after rook b6 which is the most natural move here comes queen into e2 okay bishop d6 is bad because of knight g1 and knight saves everything bishop is hanging queen can come to e8 with a check pick up this pawn so queen e2 and now well black is threatening to take this so if you take with the queen then this is a mate if you take with the rook then this is a mate so the rook must move and the most natural square is rook b8 of course rook b2 doesn't work because of 
queen b2 and there is a back rank mate with rook a1 so rook b8 and now here once again it's your move what do you play as black because you are losing a piece and that will make you a rook down at the same time the queen is solidly placed here uh, could come back to e4 and finish off the game but black has a powerful strike in the form of rook e5 well done if you found this move the threat is queen e1 mate so takes king h7 and if you look at this position closely actually uh, it's a lost position you can say because imagine the queen coming back and trying to save this position then queen f3 is a mate uh, and if the queen so the queen cannot leave this diagonal the same time the back rank is weak so what do you do yeah you play something like rook g1 and now after queen into f2 there is a threat of rook e1 so already it's becoming very difficult for white to defend this has to find the move that is very critical rook h8 takes queen c8 and then pick up this pawn and he has uh, a draw there rook h8 is the best move and after takes queen c8 check and queen into h3 and white is at least not going to lose because here even king g6 is forced if you go back then it's a better position for white king g6 queen f1 queen f3 and rook e2 black has enough counterplay to hold the draw so this is why ding liren should have played rook into b6 he went rook c5 which was not good because a check king h7 and what do you play I always ask you this question when knight g1 is the move and that's really cool um, it's over rook b6 queen into d8 take take rook here but there is now a check queen h4 the queens were exchanged and after the 40th move f3 was played nepo got half an hour also he is a pawn up and a piece up and uh, ding liren resigned here yes it's a little bit difficult to get out but i can always play this and then when you take here i can take and bring my king out and i'll win that end game slowly but surely so great game by nepo i hope you enjoyed the tactics here going into the second rest day he is really on fire and it seems like well with such a menacing lead it's still too early with eight rounds to play but he looks like the favorite right now to win the candidates